cold open. Picture this, three bosom buddies, we'll call them Lucy, Ethel and Mabel, decide to trade their high heels for hiking boots and embark on a safari adventure in the wild terrains of the Maasai Mara. You know, because nothing screams midlife crisis like getting uncomfortably close to a lion. Now, Lucy, she's the ringleader. The one who thinks she can speak to animals because she once managed to make a squirrel drop its nut. So there she is, trying to converse with a bemused giraffe, who's probably wondering why this strange woman is making squawking noises and waving her arms around like a deranged flamingo. Meanwhile, Ethel, she's the cautious one, armed with enough bug spray to take out an entire insect kingdom. But she wasn't prepared for the cunning of the Maasai Mara mosquitoes. These are no ordinary mosquitoes, you see. They've evolved to dodge bug spray like a politician dodges a direct question. Ethel spends most of the safari looking like she's performing a chaotic interpretive dance as she swats at the relentless mosquitoes. Mabel, well, she's just there for the food. She packed enough snacks to feed a small army, or in this case, a very opportunistic monkey. Picture a monkey making off with a bag full of potato chips. Mabel giving chase, shouting, you hairy thief, those are my chips. It's like a scene straight out of a slapstick comedy. And then there's the moment they encounter the king of the jungle himself, the mighty lion, majestic and powerful. Lucy decides this is her chance to prove her animal whispering skills. She approaches the lion, making what she thinks are soothing sounds. The lion, however, looks about as impressed as a cat in a bathtub. But the climax of the comedy comes when a friendly elephant decides to give them a Maasai Mara shower. Picture this. A huge elephant trunk unleashing a torrent of water, drenching our three adventurers. Lucy's still trying to communicate, Ethel's swatting at wet mosquitoes, and Mabel, well, she's just glad the monkey didn't get her cookies. So there you have it, folks. A safari adventure filled with laughter, a few too many bug bites, and the realization that the animal kingdom has a wicked sense of humor. And remember, if you ever find yourself in the Maasai Mara, beware of the chip-loving monkeys. Mabel learned that the hard way, cold close.